Welcome in everyone to episode 12 of Sprout Valley. We're gonna go ahead and get started. We're headed to our harbor island where we are playing Nico the little cat who is doing some work to build a machine in his basement that is going to create seeds from star fruit to share with everyone. We have our cute little pet mouse Lily here. We've got some turnips that are ready to harvest. I'm sorry, parsnips? I think they're parsnips. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and harvest those and prepare the ground to plant some more. I believe we've got the seeds right here in our pocket. And we are going to fill in all but the middle space because we do actually have a sprinkler to put in this part of the garden. Let's see if it's in our pocket. Nope, we're gonna have to grab it out of our storage here. Even though it's raining today, uh, so we don't technically need it at the moment, but we'll go ahead and get that set up so we don't accidentally fill in that spot with another crop again. Going to find that in our pockets and place it down right in the center here so that those crops get watered all on their own, which is going to be super helpful. Of course, it will mean we won't get to see our little ghost friend popping up in the garden every day. She's been watering some of our crops for us. I don't think she'll need to now. Uh-oh, we just picked up our bucket on accident. Let's put that back. Oh, I guess I put it right there. <laughs> Let's pick it up again. See, I'm always pushing buttons too quick. And doing stuff I don't mean to do. Okay, so we're gonna prepare this ground also and plant the last of these parsnips that we have and then go find out what we need next because I think that this, yeah, this is the last of these. And we've only got five of them. We should have all our pumpkins taken care of. And I'll show you why we're planting the crops. We're just going to pull back the rug and head down to the basement where our little ghost friend is. Let's see if we can give her a gift today. We've been trying different fruits and things to see if we can fill up her hearts a little bit more. We tried a blueberry today. No, we've only been able to fill half of one of her hearts. And that was with a pear. All right, here's what we're trying to do. So we've gotten all of the wheat that we need. We've got all of our pumpkins growing. We've got all of our parsnips growing. So the next thing that we need is another 19 red flowers. So we'll go and order those seeds. And while we're here in our pocket, let's see, we'll go ahead and send the parsnips that are done over. We might actually need to order a few more parsnips. Let's see, that was 18 out of 60. Let's see how many we've got planted. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 out of 60. So we actually need to order some more of those too. Should be about 33. Let's see, we've got a, a pretty good amount of money. So let's find our parsnips here. We need a lot of parsnips for this machine. <laughs> there we go. So what did we say? We need like 33 more of these. Let's start with 15 and we'll go ahead and get some red flower seeds too. Red flower seeds. And how many of those did I say we needed? We'll just get 15 of those too. All right, that's spending 600 of our 15,000 coins. We do need to make some more coins because we have 
another house upgrade that we've got our eye on that costs 40000 So we did get a good tip in the comments to, um, to make some bridge pieces because we have had a lot of extra logs since we've filled up all the wood requirements for all our little crates in the basement. Uh, so we're going to start crafting some bridge pieces to sell. so that we can afford that fancy house upgrade. So right now we've taken a little trip to another island where we can gather some resources and supplies. Sometimes we run into another little cat that's got a market stall. And we get to buy fun things like the little hat we have on now. <laughs> Our little cap with visor. We've gotten a jester hat before. We've had a pirate hat. She's got some fun things. That's also where we bought our sprinklers. And uh, sometimes she has different seeds and things as well. And our little, little, our little mouse there is singing in the rain. We're going to try to probably catch a few more fish while we're out here too because we have been trying to fill in that first star of our fishing achievement but I believe we need to have caught 100 fish for that to to fill up so we're we're slowly slowly making our way to that goal and our fishing skills are not the best <laughs> so it's definitely a process Oh, we're so slow. All right, we got to get better at that. <laughs> oh, switching back to our tool. So most most of our tools do um, auto choose when we walk up to something. All right, here's another fish. Uh, but the fishing rod is is one that does not. All right, we're gonna get this one. There we go. An octopus, okay. We were quick enough that time. Oh, switch back. <laughs> uh, the main thing that we are looking for right now is stone. We have a lot of gears and meter and pipes that we have to craft using stone. And uh, the crates also just need iron ingots, which are made from stone. And some of them just need raw stone. So we're trying to find as much stone as we possibly can. And of course, the more rocks we break, the more we upgrade our stone collecting ability and the stones will break faster and also give us more uh, when we collect them. So we're definitely trying to keep upgrading our ability there. Whoops. Well, I'm throwing this in, <laughs> in all the wrong spots. It's hard to get that cursor in the right place sometimes. All right, he should see it there. Our little mousie's not liking it too much. All right, we got a seashell. And we also haven't figured out if the seashells count. All right, we're switching back to the hand so we can pet our little mouse. Poor little mousy. I think that you can choose to not have a pet follow you around. You just have to unequip them in your little dresser in your house. But we like our little mouse friend. We've been having fun discovering all the new little pets that we can get. All right. See, it has started to get dark. Our lantern has come on in our pocket. So it's definitely time to start heading home. We'll try for this one more fish. Oh, he disappeared. <laughs> they, only stay, they only stay around for so long. All right, back to the boat. We'll have to try to remember when Nico goes to the island tomorrow 
on his tomorrow that we need to uh, maybe call the rescue service again. We've been trying to call the rescue service every once in a while. There is an achievement if we use them 10 times. So we haven't really actually gotten stuck anywhere. Uh, but we have been calling them just to take us back to our boat <laughs> when we're off traveling. Actually, you know, we haven't tried calling the rescue service here on our own island. Maybe we'll try that today. Let's see, how much time do we have left? Yeah, it's getting pretty late. We do have to have Nico in bed by midnight. Everything's watered. We won't do any cooking today. And we should have some seeds coming in the morning. Good night. <laughs> yeah, oh, it looks like we ordered some chest expansion as well. Oh wait, did we sell some? No, that's what we ordered. Sales receipt, yes, okay. <laughs> that's what we were. I was confused for it. We didn't sell anything yesterday. We didn't put anything in the mailbox to sell it. So we, whoops, we will gather up. Now I wonder why those other things why are pockets full. All right, let's go cook some things. <laughs> full pockets all the time. Cook this octopus to free a space. Get these six pairs going. And we can make juice with the pears as well with our little juice machines here. And the juice definitely gets done more quick. Okay, what else can we cook here? You can't cook the seashells. Let's cook up some of this blueberries into blueberry jam. And we're gonna go ahead and stick some of these things into the mailbox so that we can get them out of our pocket. Let's see, we can sell this seashell. We don't really have any use for it. Oh, we've got another fish we can cook. We can sell the coral. And we will sell our little common fish dish. Also gonna go down here and just drop the bridge pieces that are in our pocket. Because if there's a way to separate things, um, and I mean, you can drop them one at a time. I mean, I can only drop them one at a time. So I'm using the X button to drop those, but we don't want to get those mixed up with any other bridge pieces that we make. while we're trying to craft over here to make some to sell. So we should be able to make quite a few because we've got tons of planks and tons of fibers in our pocket from our foraging. And of course, every time we craft, we get magic dust as a byproduct, which we also need quite a bit of. for our basement machine project. All right, I think we can make some more planks because we just turned all those logs into wood. We turned the wood into planks. We turned the planks into bridge pieces. So thank you for that comment that suggested we sell the bridge pieces. That'll definitely help us afford our house a little quicker. Our house upgrade. And let's just go ahead and craft a few more pieces of that and get them in the mailbox so that we can have time to run to another island today and collect some more stone. <laughs> All right, just put these into the mailbox. 36 of them. All right, we'll see how much that gets. All right, let's uh, let's grab our seeds back out. 
And now we don't have anything else sitting in the mailbox. Interesting. All right, we'll pick our pieces back up. And we'll get the rest of those pies and things when we come back. Because that's something we can do in the dark. If we have time. <laughs> Sometimes it takes Nico a while to clear these islands. Even with our improved uh, abilities. So those big rocks seem to break with seven hits now. And they used to be 20 when we started out. So this is definitely making things easier on us. We can break the bushes with one, one um, swipe of our axe now instead of three, like when we started. So yeah, definitely the more you do the foraging, the easier the foraging gets. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch this little fish before he goes away. Oh, we got two of them over here. Gotcha. And it is in fact a fish. Sometimes we do fish up things like crumpled jars or plastic bags. Definitely don't like getting those. Okay, this means our pockets are full. <laughs> oh no. What do we have in here? Oh, we forgot to put our juices and things. Oh no, our pockets are not full. Why didn't we pick that up? We've got a spot. That's odd. Let's see, I see an empty space right there, right? Um, let's just see if we can drop something for a second. See if we can pick that up. We'll just drop this one plank. Okay, now it's letting us pick that up. That's strange, because it sure looks like we have an empty space in our pocket. Alright, well, let's go ahead and finish gathering. We're going to do the stone first, and we always pick up the fibers, because we did find out that the fibers also sell for quite a bit. Uh, if we get a lot of extra. We had a big pile of them before. We weren't really using them to craft anything much, so we went ahead and sold them. Since we get so many all the time. Looks like our little market friend is here. Let's see what she's got today. She kind of reminds me of Hello Kitty a little bit. <laughs> okay, uh, cap with visor. We're already wearing one. Cucumber seeds we don't need. We're good on ovens and we don't need a toolbox. So nothing we need today. We do need more fish. Nice. Okay, I'm not going to cut down any more fruit trees because our pockets are getting kind of full. Whoops. We'll cut down these ones that don't have fruit to get a few more logs. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if they have fruit that's already in our pocket. <laughs> we'll just grab these apple trees. We just like to have plenty of resources. And we do need to craft some ingots too. Oh, and our lantern came on. So it's starting to get late. I think we determined that the lantern comes on at 8 o'clock at night. So we know we have about four hours of Nico's time to get him into bed before he passes out. <laughs> um, let's see, what can we cook here? We can cook a couple fish. And I think we have a couple of those red fish as well. See, that's an empty spot. Why isn't it not filling that one? 
Must be a glitch. <laughs> we'll go ahead and put a couple apples into the juice makers. See, we can't even pick that up. All right, let's go sell a couple more things in the mailbox and then we'll be able to pick up our jam. So, we're gonna sell the jam. We're actually gonna sell these apple pies. We've been saving them to eat if we need energy on an island, but because we've improved our, our skills so much, it takes a lot less hits to um, knock down the trees and the rocks and things. We haven't really been needing it. So we're just gonna go ahead and sell those apple pies. So we should actually have a pretty good amount of money coming in tomorrow. Between the bridge pieces and all the pies. <laughs> Let's go grab these last ones that we made. Should be able to pick them up now. And the apple juice, we can get that too. We'll do some more cooking on another day. But for right now, we need to work on getting Nico into bed. Just put these juices and the other things. And we'll also work on crafting some more gears tomorrow. We've been saving up our stone so we can make some ingots, so we can make some gears <laughs> to fill up our little crates in the basement. All right, how much? We made 16,000 coins today. That is great. All right, not quite enough to, uh, to order that new house yet though. Oh, and we've got honeycombs today. Let's just take a peek at our calendar. Yep, we get honeycombs today and tomorrow, and then we're gonna have a foggy day. So we're on the 23rd, it's highlighted in blue. And uh, we do like to collect the honeycombs. They don't seem to be used to craft anything, but we can put them in our ovens to make some nice little meals. I haven't tried to put one of those in the juice maker. Let's just see. Let's just see. <laughs> nope, can't put it in there. <laughs> so let's try an apple instead. Okay, we'll cook the last two of these. And what else? Let's cook up some of these blueberries. And we'll do a few more apples. We got quite a few apples in the pockets. It's gonna take a few minutes <laughs> to get through all of those. But if we work at it a little bit at a time, we'll do it eventually. Let's see, and we just gave Luna a gift I think, was it Aniko's yesterday or was it the day before for him? Uh, what did I just see over here? Oh yes, our windmill, our cute little windmill. Oh, we've got pumpkins ready. And we've got a pocket full of seeds, so... Harvest and plant, harvest and plant. <laughs> With our little farm growing our vegetables and filling up our crates. Okay, looks like we accidentally added a little spot right there, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it because we have seeds and we need to plant. So let's see, where's our seeds? We'll go ahead and plant a few more parsnips up here and then we'll plant some of the red flowers down below. I think that'll be nice to have a few different things growing at once. Um, did we sell some of our seeds back? I think we might have left some things in the mailbox because didn't we order 
It's like some pineapple seeds and stuff. I think we didn't pick them up out of the mailbox and they might have gotten sold back so we might have to... We ordered a few seeds just for fun that we didn't really need but just to see um, if we could make juice or what they turn into when they cook. Sometimes it's just fun to experiment. So let's try ordering some of those again. Let's see, which ones did we get? Oh, coffee, that's right. We had ordered a few coffee seeds because we wanted to see if we could make some coffee. And then I think it was pineapples. Ordered a couple pineapple seeds. And what was the other one? Oh, tea seeds. We'll get four of those too. And I think we will just do a couple watermelons too. Why not? <laughs> Why not? We're having fun over here. All right. What else can we sell? Let's see. I saw some juice in here. Yep. We can sell that. We can sell these little meals and let's head down to the basement and see what we can add to our crates. We're going to go ahead and put our pumpkins into this one. And we're going to save the magic dust on this one for last because I think it's definitely going to take the longest to fill this one with all the things that we need to grow. So we've still got some eggplant and corn to go after the parsnips and red flowers. And looks like we still need about six pumpkins, which might already be growing up there. So those two crates are finished. And we're working on some of these top ones now. We finished the first one, but these two needed some gears. Gear apparatus. So let's go see if we can get some of those made. Um, let's see. Actually, I think we have to do it from here. There it is. Gear apparatus. How many can we make? We can make two with the stone that we've got. So we'll go ahead and put those in. Hello again, Luna. Okay, we'll put the two over. And how much magic dust do we have? We can get a good start on that magic dust. And one tip for the crates is that you can always take things back out of the crates and put them back in your pocket. So if you put your magic dust into a crate and then you decide to fill a different crate first, you can always go back and pick that magic dust back up and uh, move it. So that's handy. We'll go ahead and put those ingots in. We're just trying to make as much pocket space as we can. And that one also needs some meter and pipes. So really what we just need is a lot more stone. So we're going to head to another island <laughs> and gather some stone. Here we go. And we'll go ahead and again, just cut down the non-fruit trees first and see how much time we have left at the end. If we need to cut down the other ones. Because we do want to craft some more bridge pieces to sell. Whoops. Okay, Nico. <laughs> He gets a swing in that axe and you kind of have to hold off for a minute and let him get done before you can move on and try to pick up some more things. There's lots of little stones on this island. We're going to take this apple tree. We really don't need any more apples. We have so many apples in our pocket. Let's see. Not seeing our market friend today on this island. We have been kind of doing a test to see if we ever find our little market friend on a rainy or foggy day. 
So we've got a foggy day coming up in a couple of Nico's days, and there's our 8 o'clock lantern coming on. Uh, and tomorrow we should have some more honeycombs from our little bees. Alright, we're gonna try to hurry up and finish collecting here. So maybe Nico has time to do a little bit of crafting when we get back. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And also one of the fun things about finishing the crates in the basement is that every time we have finished a crate, we've gotten a new pet. So we've gotten a cute little turtle named Shelly. We've gotten a little axolotl named Isha. Uh, we got a little green fox named Tulip. Lots of fun little friends, but my favorite so far is definitely Lily the mouse here. She's just adorable. We're gonna we're gonna give her a little pet because we like her so much. <laughs> and she gets that little heart over her head. It's so fun. All right, let's head back. Sometimes we can fit in two islands in a day if we get going first thing, but we did have a lot of crops to take care of on this day. So let's see how many ingots we can manage. We can make nine. And we'll save those for tomorrow. We'll go ahead and turn our logs into wood. enjoy the music in this game. It's just relaxing. Cute little music. And it does change up a little bit when it's a rainy or foggy day, so that's fun. Okay, that's all of our logs. Let's see how much time we have. Oh, not much. Let's throw this jam into the mailbox. We might have to go ahead and sell some of these fruits just raw because <laughs> it takes a long time to cook that many. But since we do pick up a lot of the same stuff all the time, it really doesn't hurt us to have them in our pocket either. All right, let's grab these seeds before we accidentally resell them. And it looks like we've got some pumpkins done here, so we might be able to try some of them out already. Just switch to our little harvesting tool. Prepare the ground. And let's start with some coffee seeds. I'm excited about the coffee seeds. I hope Nico can make some coffee in the little ovens. That would be so fun. <laughs> Um, let's see, we've got a fourth coffee seed and I'm pretty sure that the sprinkler reaches this spot down here. So we're gonna go ahead and just plant the fourth one right there. Okay, and then before, oh, we do have honeycombs again today. We're switching to the hand to gather them because we don't want to accidentally pick up our honeycomb, our beehives. We do want the honeycombs. <laughs> we don't want the beehives. Because if, if we do that with our harvesting tool in our hand, we pick them up every time. If we make it through this episode without picking up an oven, it will be the first time. <laughs> and this is episode 12. So if that tells you anything. <laughs> so we're just going to um, get a few things going here. And then head on out. We'll go ahead and pick those up because they got done quick. Oh, we can't fit. Wait, our pockets are full again already? <laughs> How does this happen? We're going to have to put some of these seeds in the uh, in the chest. All right, let's sell these meals. What else did we pick up that we can sell? Uh, we'll put those three pumpkins in the basement. Let's see. We'll just go ahead and transfer all of these seeds 
into the storage. Oh, no, our storage is full now. Well, <laughs> we're going to have to spend a little more, I think. Which means definitely we need to craft some more bridges to sell. Because we need a couple more chest expansions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I did not mean to order that many. I held down the button. So there's a tip. Don't hold down the button. Because <laughs> I don't know how to... I don't know how to subtract any. So, well, we just ordered a whole lot of chest storage. Okay. Well, that's fun. <laughs> see if we can catch this fish. No, it's a plastic bag. All right, we're definitely not, <laughs> we're definitely not going to have time to go to two islands. Oh, I'm on the fishing rod, that's why. I was like, why won't I go on the mailbox? All right, we can sell that. It's only going to get us five coins, but that's all right. Well, maybe we had better go drop a couple things in the basement just to clear the pocket space. We're in and out, in and out. <laughs> All right, we'll put those pumpkins over. So now we just need three more pumpkins, and I don't know if we have more up there or not. Gonna hang on to that magic dust for now because I think we need it to craft the gears. Can we give anything to Luna again already? Yes, we can. Um, let's try a strawberry again. Actually, have we ever given her a blackberry? Let's try a blackberry. Okay, it didn't fill any hearts. It's like a little mystery. <laughs> like, I don't know what to give her next. All right, let's go travel. <laughs> Another new island. And these are randomly generated and there seems to be quite a few different because I think there's only been once that we ever felt like we got an island that was the same as one we'd seen before. It was pretty distinctive. It had a skinny little tail right where you park your boat. Um, but aside from that, it doesn't really seem like we've ever gotten the same exact thing more than once, which is kind of cool. Some nice variety. Oops. Alright, what are you swinging out there, bud? Let's see if we can catch this fish. We're gonna catch as many as we can. If it's not another plastic bag or a seashell, <laughs> we just got some more coral. Oh, our little mouse is having a good time. Oh, and we've got the market here. Let's see what she's got today. Okay, spooky tower, we already have one. A stack of hay, we don't have any of those. A chef hat. Let's just buy one stack of hay. Be a fun little decoration to put on our island. Because we do like to decorate a little bit. It's not all about gathering stone and baking pies. <laughs> Whoops. Guess we'll gather those peaches. A few more blueberries. We might have to do some baking when we get back. We just, um, you know, gotta empty out those pockets every, every now and then. We haven't even really needed to use our watering can now that we have all our sprinklers in place. Oh no, another plastic bag. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and go up to the top here and call the rescue service to get us back. <laughs> I 
We'll get one more one more use out of that. So we'll go over here to this the last page of the book to the left. Call for rescue. It does cost 500 coins, but that's all right. Hello, is this Pascal Town Rescue Service? Yes, yes. How can I help you? I think I'm stuck again and I need assistance. Wait, is that you again, Nico? <laughs> yes, it's me. I'm so sorry and I need help again. No worries. Calculating your current position, our team is on the way. Then of course, they just bring us back to our boat. And I just remembered <laughs> that we were going to try that on our own island. So I don't think that there's any limit to how often you can call them. So we'll try to remember to do that on our own island on the next little day. All right, let's make some ingots. Oh, can't make too many. Six more. All right, we're just going to go down here and drop our bridge pieces again so that we can craft some more to sell. Whoops. Okay, so we need planks. We'll turn the wood into uh, the logs into wood, and then the wood into planks, and then the planks into bridges. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a process, but that's good actually because it allows us to get more magic dust, which we also need quite a bit of. And I'm sorry if I said that already. <laughs> going through the stages here. Of course we can also use the planks to make sticks for certain items. Um, some of the decorative items use sticks or planks and sticks. Wow we're getting a lot of planks now. We must have had quite a bit of wood built up. <laughs> It is getting late though, so we gotta keep our eye on the time. Oh, a safe. I wonder what you can do with a safe. A place to store your valuable items. Interesting. It's interesting that it's in here with the oven and the juice maker. Those are like useful items. So why would you need the safe if you already have your chest? I don't know. We might have to make one and just see what it does. <laughs> All right, what were we trying to make? We're trying to make some wood bridges. <laughs> How many can we do? All right, we can make quite a few now. Twenty. And we're gonna sell this seashell. And we will sell this other plastic bag. And where are those bridge pieces we just made? We'll go ahead and sell those too. 20 more. All right, pick up the ones we left. What time is it? We have a little bit of time, so let's go do a tiny bit of baking. We can pick up these things that we made last time. We are on our hand. So we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna accidentally do something we don't mean to. We've only got six pairs, so let's go ahead and use those. And we need to find a little spot for our hay bale, but maybe we'll wait until daylight for that. All right, let's pick up these pies. So we did clear a space in our pocket by using up our pears. And tomorrow we should have plenty more room in our chest since we accidentally spent so much money. <laughs> so let's get those apple juices, this little common dish, and the pear juice. Plenty of things to sell. All right, bedtime. Okay. And we did make some money. 
We made 6,000. 4,800 of it from those wood bridges. Um, but we did get 22,000 subtracted for all that chest space that we ordered on accident. Okay, and we're on our foggy day. So we'll be able to pick up some mushrooms today too. That's fun. All right, let's grab this fish before we uh, activate our chest space here. Why won't you stay over there? Okay, there we go. Gotta watch careful and be quick when that splash comes up. Ooh, it's a fog fish. Those must only come out in the fog. Okay, so what we're going in our pocket and just holding down the button to activate these chest expansions. We can fit lots of stuff in there now. I don't know <laughs> how I cast the fishing line. Oh yeah. Can't get in the chest while you're holding the fishing rod. All right, so we'll put these other seeds over. Is there anything else we need to put in the storage? Not right now. All right, so the hay bale, I think, should go nicely with some of our other little pumpkin decorations over here. Let's see if we can put it near our spooky tower. Yeah, we'll put it right there. That'll be cute. All right, looks like these parsnips might actually be done tomorrow. Still working toward getting that fishing achievement. It's going to take a lot of fishing to get there. Ooh, we caught a new fish. We have not seen this one before. What is it? A golden fish. Wow. Too bad you can't craft like a fish tank and make them a little pet. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's not a mushroom. That's our mushroom stool. All right, let's just throw a few things into the ovens and and then we'll run over to another island and we'll collect that when we come back. As we can actually use the, uh, the mushrooms to craft some furniture items too and some lamps that we can probably also sell those as long as they don't use up too much magic dust or anything that's the only problem with crafting some of the stuff because we're trying to save the magic dust for the crates or for making the parts necessary to fill the crates we're really trying not to spend too much of it but honestly guys like there is no time limit on these goals so if you just wanted to spend all your time decorating your whole island before you even start on that basement project, you could totally do that. Just have a fully decorated island, grow some fun crops like the coffee and the pineapples. And there's lots of flower seeds too that you can get. Different colors and kinds of flowers. So there, there's tons of, for you to do in this game besides just filling crates in the basement. <laughs> um, and there's definitely talk of an expansion at some point uh, with some new NPCs and adding things like quest lines. So if you're enjoying the game, we'll definitely revisit when some of that stuff comes out. I'm definitely partial to any game where you get to play a kitty cats like our little Nico here he's so cute in his little hats now one thing in the dresser in the house it does show where he can get shirts and sweaters and we haven't come across any of those yet and I don't know if that is just that they're not in the game yet or if um, they're just not on the switch yet because we are playing this on Nintendo Switch. Oh, we got another tuna. That's nice. 
Our little mouse friend's having fun. Let's see if we can catch this little guy. Little guys are quick. We got them. Oh, it's a tadpole. <laughs> There's another. Another fish. Oh, come on, fish. You know you see that. No, nope, we're going to have to get it a little further out. Whoops. Uh, to get it to go past, like, those two spaces, you kind of have to hold the right joystick down. Oops, I pulled it too quick. You have to hold the right joystick down. Uh, well, in the direction that you're trying to go. So, like, I can put it that far. Whoops. Um... No, okay, it goes, with the fishing rod, it automatically goes like the second space out from you. But if you're trying to get to a different space, you can hold that right joystick down, one space up, down, and then just cast your line while you've got it held down. It's a little tricky because of the placement, but it can be done. All right, I think we've collected just about everything we're gonna get here. Lily is getting a little tired, so we're gonna go back. And let her rest for a minute while we do a little more baking I think and maybe we'll have some more crops ready tomorrow uh, should we cook the golden fish let's just cook it and see what happens <laughs> I like to experiment see if it gives us something other than the common fish dish that we've been getting. We'll try to do some more of these blueberries. We're gonna put some more apples in the juice maker. We're gonna catch another fish. Hopefully. On this foggy night, it's starting to get dark. Oh, we got another fog fish. Uh, our lantern should be coming on any time. Alright, got it. It's another fish. Uh, I can't remember what fish that one is. Let's see. The red mullet. Oh, yes. And we can cook the fog fishes too, wherever they ended up. Let's see, we'll cook. Let's see, where'd our blueberries go? Cook some more blueberries. Just trying to use those up. <laughs> and we'll do some oranges in the juice. More blueberries. And then we better check the time. Make sure that we're getting Nico to bed when he needs to get there. Okay, it's just nine, so we've got a little more time. We should be able to finish out these oranges and blueberries. No problem. That's the end of the blueberries. And we got three more oranges to go. One and two. There's our juice and that's the last orange. So now we've got some more things to sell. And maybe we'll try crafting some of the mush furniture tomorrow and see what that is selling for. So what can we put in our mailbox? Common fish dish. We've got some fruit pies. Orange juice. Sashimi. Apple juice. And blueberry jam, of course. And good night, Nico. Oh, <laughs> I think our Lily the mouse had a good day. All right, another 4,000 coins. And we finally leveled up our fishing. Yay. Okay, so plus one fishing proficiency increased fish rarity and increased window to pull the fish so that's good we'll have a little more time to catch those guys and it looks like we got some new recipes maybe a sandbox um is that a metal detector and it looks like a little 
uh, fish kite or some, not kite. It's not the word I'm looking for. Do I know what the word I'm looking for is? No. All right, five, yeah, those. Okay, so we got the bottled ship. Very cute. I think all of these mush lamps. Carp banner, that's what we want. We need one stick. Let's make one of these, because that's cute. Um, let's see. We can make a stick. No, we don't have any planks. We don't have any wood. <laughs> we don't have any logs. What? Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to have to go to an island and then make a carp banner. So we have to cut some logs. I guess we didn't really cut any wood on that last island. Too bad. We'll definitely cut some this time. We'll just chop all the trees. Well, if we quit swinging that axe at nothing. <laughs> Seems to be a good amount of stone here. Gonna go ahead and gather all the trees just when we were starting to make some room in our pockets. It's gonna be collecting up all the fruit again. Whoops. see some big, big stones here. Because we definitely get a lot more at a time from those than picking them up one at a time over here on the ground. <laughs> I don't think we're going to end up filling any crates today. We'll see though, just never know. If we got enough stone to make enough ingots to make enough gears, <laughs> we might be able to do it. Okay, so now when we fish, we should be maybe finding some new rarer fish, which will be fun. It's always fun to find something new. Oh, just another piece of coral. Let's try this one. Oh, another golden fish. Oh, did we even like pay attention to notice what that made when we cooked it? Probably not. Wow, there's another big part of the island up here. Whoops. All right, stop swinging, Nico. And our little market friend is not here today. Let's try to catch this one. It would be fun to see another new fish. Nope, it's a tuna. Already had one. <laughs> um, I haven't been able to tell if there's any like different fish that come out at night. We definitely have seen that the fog fish only comes out on the foggy days. So there are some special occasion fish. Oop, here's another one. Gotcha. We are running a little low on energy. Just another seashell. 
Okay, let's get back to our island. And we'll try out the rescue service and see what happens if we call them from home. <laughs> We'll see if they bring us back to the boat or if they bring us to our house or what do they do? All right, we'll just call from up here by the windmill. Call for rescue. Is this Pascal Town? Operator is listening. How can I help you? Oh, that's a little bit different. Wait, is that our regular customer, Nico? Yes, it's me. I'm so sorry, and I need help one last time, I promise. No worries, Nico. Our team is on the way. Be careful next time. Okay, so that dialogue was a little different this time. Does that mean we, we reached the 10th tenth, the tenth time? Okay, so it puts us right back inside our house. So if, if you call them from your own island, you get put right back in your house. <laughs> so that's fun. Or good to know. I don't think that I've actually gotten caught anywhere, so you have to let me know if you've if you've gotten stuck anywhere that you actually like needed the rescue service. Okay, what can we put up for sale? We're gonna get rid of these coral and this seashell and then we'll go do some cooking. And we'll try to remember to notice this time if that goldfish makes a different kind of meal than the other one. We'll cook some strawberries today. And we might just try to give Luna a gift one more time before the end. Because we are right at an hour again, friends. <laughs> again, it flies by. Um, so we're going to finish out this day. Let's see what we can do. We're going to make some ingots. Right, we were able to make quite a few that time. And then we need to make some gears. Um, gears. Wait, before we do that, we need to make one stick. Oh, we didn't make any planks yet. Let's make some planks. Okay, we need one stick because we definitely want that carp banner. It is so cute. Like we've said before, we can't be all work and no play. All right, so now we've got ourselves the little carp banner to decorate with, so it'll be fun to see how big that is. And then let's see if we can make, oh, not quite three. We can make two more gear apparatus and that gave us a little more magic dust any chance a hey, that made it so we can make one more nice I think that's gonna finish out what we need in that one box let's go see uh, this box is just waiting on three gears and ten more 10 more magic dust. We have one. Let's go see if we can make nine more. Can we give Luna a gift again? Yes, we can. Oh, no, no, no. Recently gave a gift. We'll have to do it a bit later. Okay, that's fine, Nico. Let's go hurry up and see if we can get enough magic dust to fill that. We're going to make some wood with all those logs we just cut. We just need nine more magic dust. That looks like about four, maybe. We'll see if we get another new pet from finishing this crate. Not that we're trying to get rid of our cute little Lily the mouse, because she is like the best. <laughs> wow, we got a lot of wood. 
We're going to stop by the mailbox real quick too and make sure we sell some things. Wow, we got a lot of wood. Or a lot of logs, I should say. We're still making... Okay. Eight more. Alright, that should definitely give us enough magic dust to finish out that little crate. So let's see what we can throw in the mailbox here. We got some more sashimi. Alright, we got a one common fish dish. Some apple juice, some strawberry pie. And that's it. Okay, down to the basement. Let's go see what we get for finishing another crate. Add a big gear onto the machine. A new part is done. Great job, Nico. With this pace, we will build the machine in no time. <gasps> and we got a little orange fox. Okay, we might have to swap out. Since this is our last night in the game today, we'll swap out in the next episode. But I do want to go ahead and place our carp banner. Does this one have a name? Archie! Oh my gosh, so cute! <laughs> so we'll switch to Archie in the next episode. And maybe we'll be able to... Okay, yeah, I think this is a great place for it. Right there. Nice carp banner. L Lily loves it too. Oh, that's so cool. We'll have to check out. We'll, we'll be able to see it in the morning when Nico wakes up, but it is getting late. So, ooh, yep, he's barely got enough time to get in bed. Ooh, just made it. <laughs> we'll see what money we made and what achievements we made, and then we will have to say goodbye until next time. So, 1,000 coins. No new achievements. We'll keep trying to catch some more rare fish. We'll keep growing crops and keep working on the basin. And we'll have our coffee to check out next time too. So thanks everyone for joining me and Nico today. It would be lovely if you chose to subscribe. Have a beautiful day everyone. <laughs>